If you happen across my video, this is my apology. You didn't know that I lied to you, but I just let you know. I'm sorry. everyone my name is Serena and welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel if you've been here before welcome welcome guys I'm finally back on social media I am finally able to get on Instagram and Twitter and everything now it's so weird coming back to social media after taking such a big break from it because it's just like I don't know how to use it anymore I'm like what pictures do I post what tweets do I say like I have no idea what I'm doing I've been really active on my Instagram lately because I've been t because I have all these pictures that I took over the past six weeks that I never got to post anywhere. So I've been really active on my Instagram lately. If you want to follow me there, wink, wink. Also, for the first time, I linked my YouTube channel to my Instagram, my Twitter, and my Snapchat story, and. I just made a quick story saying if you want you can watch my new video because I was really excited about it and I was really proud of it and I just asked you know if you guys wanted to I was like if you guys want you can head over to my YouTube channel and watch it and I've never like connected my Instagram to my YouTube before because I was kind of nervous about it because I like that I had my YouTube page like all to myself for a while and I wasn't getting like People watching my videos and commenting on them were people that were like complete strangers that just found my channel on the internet and so now it's just like really really nerve wracking having that I guess, I guess just like having it on display for people you know because not that like everyone I know would be mean or anything but I feel like it's the people you know that are like critical of you and I don't know I was just really nervous that people wouldn't like my channel or they wouldn't like my video. But everyone's been like super nice about it. They were like, wow, I didn't know you had a YouTube channel. That's really awesome. And it was actually a good thing. I was really nervous. I have really bad anxiety. So like, when I first posted the link to my channel, I was like a mess. I was so nervous because I was just, I don't know. I guess I was just scared that people wouldn't like my video. But yeah, that's been really fun. So if you're watching this video and you came from my Instagram page or my YouTube or, or my Snapchat, thank you for watching. And yes, I am wearing like an open sleeve shirt again. I'm just one of those people that like, if I can't pull something off, I will be in denial and I'll still try anyway. Today's video, I don't know if you guys can tell by the title, but today's video is going to be a really fun one. I was thinking about videos to do because I've just been wanting to do like a really funny one and I thought what is funnier than sharing the stupid worst lies you've ever told. I've seen a lot of videos around where people either share the worst lies they've told or the dumbest lies that they've believed, which I want to do a video on that too because there's so many of those too. But I thought it would be fun to share with you guys <laughs> the worst lies I've ever told. And I just want to put like a little side note, disclaimer, whatever you want to call it. I don't condone lying. I don't think lying is good. I do not lie very often myself as you as you'll see like a lot of these instances happened when I was a lot younger but even when I was younger I didn't lie a lot I didn't lie all the time or like I didn't make a habit of lying I just these are just like probably some of the only lies I've ever told which is why they're the worst because I just I'm the worst at lying I can't lie to anyone's face I can't not tell the truth because I just feel so guilty about it and there have been instances where I have lied in the past and I just had to come clean and tell the truth because I'm just like I can't deal with this guilt I can't I can't do it so I really don't lie regularly I don't condone lying I don't think that you guys should lie do not lie do not do these things that I do I just thought it would be a really funny video to share with you guys some instances where I lied and it was not it was not good I guess it'll be kind of like a story time because we'll kind of be telling the story of what happened. It'll just be multiple little stories in this video about the times that I lied. So, yeah, let's just get right into it. Okay, so the first lie that I told, I remember this clear as day because I just felt so bad about it. We were at my brother's basketball practice and my brother had a couple boys on the team who had younger sisters. So when me and my sister Casey had to go to practice and like hang out there while my mom waited on him to get done... We would hang out with the other boys' like little sisters, and uh, one of the one of the little sisters of one of his 
teammates. Uh, we went to high school together. Like, we were friends in high school. She's really cool. But when we were little, we were just walking around the school, you know, trying to find something to do. Because when you're just sitting there waiting for someone to get done with basketball, it's like... We used to have a payphone in our high school, which is crazy. But this is when we were, like, really young. We were probably... She was probably in, like... The first or second grade and I was probably in the second or third grade because she was a year younger than me. Well, we saw this payphone and she was talking about a girl that she knew that put in a quarter or however much it cost to make a phone call and called 911 and she was like demonstrating what this girl did and she picks up the phone, dials 911 and then when she has it to her face she goes blah 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 the school that we're at is on fire and then hangs up the phone and she was just like demonstrating what the girl had done when she put her quarter in and we did not think anything of it like we just kind of like walked away from the payphone went on with the rest of our day and we didn't know that the payphone will call 911 without any quarters so she called 911 told them that the school was on fire and the police showed up like a couple minutes later and they were like, hey, we just got a 911 call that the school was on fire. And so, you know, they were going around questioning everybody because, you know, someone called 911. They don't know who it was. And then there's us, these three young unattended girls. And we got questioned by the police. They were like, did you call 911? And when the police came by to question the three of us and they asked, you know, me and my sister if we called 911 or if we knew who called 911, my friend was giving me daggers like, do not tell on me. <laughs> I can't believe I said this, but I told the police officer, this is illegal to lie to a cop, by the way. But I told him, oh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know who called 911. On the way home, we felt so bad that we had lied that we told my mom that she did it and she was just like, okay girls, well first of all, you should have told him that, but she's like, now you know not to call 911 because the police will show up. That was such a, I don't know, I just felt guilty about that for like the longest time and I was scared because like the next day, kids at school were talking about it and they said that like, oh the payphone has cameras on it and they can see. Uh, who dialed 911 and blah 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 and people were talking about how the police showed up at the school last night and my friend and I we just made this agreement we were taking this to the grave no one else but my mom was gonna know that she called 911 to this day I still have never told anyone that story but now I told the internet but you guys don't know who she is so it's okay like I still keeping her secret but yeah that was one of the worst lies I've ever told next lie this is probably the worst lie because I was a lie in the house of God. I was in church. I don't know if you guys ever went through this, but when I was in like the third-ish grade, I went through a phase where I did cartwheels all the friggin' time. Like, I would cartwheel everywhere and at, like in the grocery store, at school, on the playground. It didn't matter where I was, like I would just do cartwheels. I would just up and do a cartwheel. I don't even think I can do a cartwheel anymore. But I used to do cartwheels all the time. And it was like, it got to the point where it was a problem. Like I felt like I had to cartwheel, I don't know why. But I would do it in the most like inappropriate places, I swear. We had this like church class that we went to on Wednesday nights and I was there and I had to go to the bathroom so I went to the bathroom and my sister actually went to the bathroom with me she was there she was a witness we were in the bathroom and my sister was actually in the stall so she wasn't she didn't she didn't see this happen but she was in the stall I was out um, like in the bathroom area I don't know it was like a pretty big bathroom like there was a lot of space in the bathroom I guess enough space that I thought oh I could do a cartwheel in here so I do a cartwheel, and then I do another, and, I do, and I'm like doing like 10 cartwheels. I don't know why. I have no idea why that was like a thing. I don't know. But I guess like I had gotten too close to the wall, and I didn't realize it. And I kick this statue of Mary off of the wall, and it hits the ground, and it just like breaks. And my sister is in the stall, and she's like, what just happened? I'm like... I don't know, the Mary statue just fell off the wall. We gotta get out of here before they blame us for it. And so my sister just like gets out of the saw, washes her hands, and we leave. And the girl comes in like a couple minutes later, and I guess she just like picks up all the 
broken pieces of the Mary statue and she she takes it out and, gi and gives it to our teacher and she's like this must have fallen off the wall because it was just on the ground in pieces and I was, I was just over here with Casey like oh yeah it must have fallen off the wall that is the worst lie I've ever told because I should have picked it up and I should have told the teacher that I was being dumb and I cartwheeled into it but I didn't I just that's the worst that's like I really regret that that is like the worst way that situation could have been handled like and I didn't even tell Casey that I actually kicked it off the wall until like a couple years ago I was like hey remember when that statue fell off the wall she's like oh yeah and I was like yeah I kicked it off the wall and then I lied I'm sorry God I'll ne I've never lied in a church since then I felt so bad about it afterwards the next lie that I told was actually on a test and <laughs> hear me out we used to take this test that you had to take to graduate. I don't even think they have this test anymore, but it was called like the OGT or something. There was an essay question on the test that said, tell a story from your personal life, your personal experience about a time that someone taught you a really valuable lesson. And I don't want to make this like super detailed, so like to basically to make a long story short, I wrote about my grandpa who served in the Vietnam War and he fell in love with someone and he would write letters back to someone that he loved back at home and he taught me all about how to keep a relationship alive long distance and he taught me all about you know staying strong and all this stuff I guess you learn from war I don't really know I don't really remember all the details but yeah my grandpa did not serve neither grandpa of mine served in the Vietnam War and I didn't learn those valuable lessons from them. And that was a lie that I wrote on paper because it was for a test. I don't feel like that counts though because everyone has to lie. I just panicked because like, you it's a time test. Like you only get a certain amount of time and like I have learned so many lessons from so many people in my life but I couldn't think right. I was like panicked. I just started spewing bull crap which my English teacher actually said is okay. If you make up something it's fine because like who is it? How is this person going to know that you don't have a grandpa that served in the Vietnam War? Like your your test is just like a serial number. They don't know who you are so. I guess that wasn't like that bad of a lie but I did feel bad about just like not making a genuine essay because I do have a lot of people in my life that I've learned like good lessons from. This next one um, was probably one of the probably the worst lie I've ever told in high school. Probably the most rebellious thing I ever did in high school if that says anything about me because looking back I'm like that wasn't really a big deal but I've never I, uh, uh, I don't know. So this one actually involves lying to my principal. So like if my principal from high school ever happens across this video, like <laughs> I'm sorry in advance for lying to you about this. This is just so stupid. It was my senior year of high school. There was a time of about a week and a half where my boyfriend Hunter, my fiance Hunter, you guys know Hunter, he was really sick and he was out of school for like, like I said, like a week and a half. And we didn't really see much of each other that whole week and a half because it was during softball season so I always had like softball practice or a softball game after school so I didn't have a lot of time to like go over to his house and visit him and at first like my mom didn't really want me to go visit him because he was sick like she didn't want me getting sick too and it was softball season so like I can't get sick okay softball is life okay but like I really didn't get to see Hunter that much and I really missed him I know like a week and a half so hard but I did I missed him and so one day he was texting me and he was like can you come over after school and I was like I can't come over after school Hunter I have a game he was like I just really want to see you I just don't really feel good he's like if I saw you I think I'd feel so much better blah 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 just laying on all this like cute stuff or whatever <laughs> I'm just kidding Hunter I got the brilliant idea. This is not a brilliant idea. Do not take from this. But I got the brilliant idea that I would ask my 8th period teacher if I could go home and get something that I needed for our softball game. Like, I needed something for our game, and I wouldn't have time to get it after school. So I asked her if I could, like, skip our class. Because it was public speaking, and most public speaking classes were complete... A complete waste of time anyway we didn't do anything we'd prepare our speeches but like most of the time people just were goofing off and talking about like really dumb stuff so 
I asked if I could skip that class period to go home and get something. And she said that was fine as long as it was okay with the people in the office. So I went to the office. <sighs> I still feel bad about this. I'm sorry for lying. I'm so sorry. I still feel so bad about this. But I asked the secretary. She's the nicest lady ever. She's so sweet. I feel so bad for lying to her too, but... I asked her if I could go home and get something. I was like wasn't very specific because like I was think I was trying to think of something that they would like let me leave school for, but I didn't want to like tell them what I needed unless they needed to know. So I just asked if I could go home and get something that I needed. And it just happened to be when the principal was standing like right next to her and he could like hear everything I was saying. And he's also my softball coach, so like she was like, I don't know, ask ask him. And so I was like, can I go home and get something from my house and come back? And he was like, well, what do you need to get? And I was like, I still feel so bad. I'm so sorry. But I said, I left my softball glove at home and I need it for our game. And obviously being our softball coach, he let me leave. Go get my glove. Oh my god, this is the worst thing I ever did. I'm so sorry. But I left school and I just went to Hunter's house and we sat on his couch and watched a movie and I got ready for my game and I went back to the school and we had our game and that was that. I feel so bad. I really wanted to see Hunter though, but I, I still feel bad about that was like one of the only lies I probably ever told to a staff member in high school and I I still feel bad I'm so sorry like if you happen across my video this is my apology you didn't know that I lied to you but I just let you know I'm sorry my conscience conscience is clear now okay so those were the worst lies I've ever told I'm so happy to get them off my chest most of them I've never told anyone Actually, all of them I've never told anyone, so now that I've told the internet, and anyone can watch this, I am so relieved that I've told someone. I'm so happy to get it off my chest. Am I the only one who's like a horrible person? I don't know, I feel like such a bad person. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I know this video was just kind of like a funny, goofy one, but like, I, <laughs> I want to do more videos like this because they're funny. They're so funny to just like look back and be like, why were you so dumb, Serena? <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you sometime soon with another one. Goodbye!